Welcome to the Lookout on Outlook, brought to you by Technology Teaching and Learning Technologies from the University of Wisconsin, River Falls. Today we're going to be looking in Outlook for tips in managing auto-filling of dates, time zones, and date searching. So let's get started. Let's say we wanted to auto-search a date and fill in a date for next Tuesday. Instead of putting in the date on the actual date and time stamp, I'm going to choose a new meeting here. And down where the start date is, instead of going through here and finding next Tuesday, I'm just going to tell Outlook I want to go to next Tuesday. And let's see what happens. Enter, and it automatically finds next Tuesday as December 6th. How about finding a holiday? Let's put in Christmas and see what happens. And automatically finds 1225 on that particular date in this year. So I could use this feature looking for dates ahead, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a holiday, maybe next year, things like that. Some other things I can do here is if I click in this bar and double click and move in here and I click on this one, on the title, you'll see that it's a rollable. So I can roll to March 2012 and then I can use some date pickers in here if I want. And if I want to go back there, I can go back to this particular month come back to today. So there's a couple ways that we can hop around looking for dates and things. Another thing I want to show you here in Outlook 2010 is the ability to put in a different time zone. Right now I'm default in um, standard time zone here. Let's take a look at how I could set another time zone just in case I'm traveling around a lot or I'm out of the country or I'm somewhere else or I'm putting meetings together with people and colleagues that are in different time zones. So let's take a look at the file menu, choose options, and then let's go into the calendar and scroll down here and we want to look for time zones. First thing I'm going to put a label in the one that I have since there is no label this is central time zone and then I'm going to show a second time zone here. Let's choose Australia. And I'm going to use the Melbourne Sydney uh, time zone. So I'm going to say OK and save that. Now when I come back in here, you see I have two time zones lit up. And that's easy so that I can see when I'm making different meetings in the different time zones. Uh, at 8, 8 a.m. in the morning here, it's 1 a.m. in Australia the day before. And you can make some different changes here looking at how that comes about. So I'm going to turn that off for right now. Go back into Options and Calendar and I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to leave the name of Central so that I know that it's Central date up there. So let's see how this works in Microsoft Office 2011 on the Mac version and also in OWA. In Microsoft Out Outlook uh, 2011 I can't set a time zone um, dual display like I can with the um, Outlook 2010 but I will show you where we can find that. So we can come in here, come into our calendar and I can go up and click on Outlook and Preferences and then I can go into the calendar option here and here's where I can set that time zone. Uh, I can change it to the time zone I'm either going to go to or find myself in and save it for that area. Uh, a couple of things we can do here when we're trying to view dates or set dates out ahead is let's take, make a new meeting here in Outlook 2011 and what you'll see here is if I double click on this and I or this part here I can jump around pretty easily from here so I can click on that move a move ahead a couple of spots this little icon in the middle here will bring me back to this month that I'm currently in so I can do that and I it won't let me double click that but I could uh, easily type in the different days there if I wanted to or use this picker in here this is one way of getting back um, within the Outlook area of this section of the Mac version. So let's look at what it takes to do this in OWA. So if I come into OWA here and I've got a number of different applications up. So in OWA I can check the calendar and there's some neat little picker ideas in here too. Again I can see the uh, time zone here. I can't set it for a dual like I can with the Outlook 2010 but I'll show you where to find out where we can set that and some different ways we can view um, jumping around with the dates. So let's choose the options over here. Choose see all options and on the left side choose settings and the first thing I want to do is choose regional 
and in regional here I can see my current time zone is set if I want to set a different one just click in this bar and then I can choose whatever time zone I want here I'm gonna leave it at Central Time in Canada if I want to go back in and change that um, and set it up with my tabs inside my calendar I can do that here click on the calendar button and now I can see change my work week to my current time zone and so this would match up then within the time zone I am currently in and to go out of this just click on mail again and let's see how we can make some different choices in searching on dates here so let's make a new meeting and in here you'll see if I double click this um, I can't put a, uh, the names like next Tuesday or whatever in here that won't work it won't allow me to because it's not an actual date but I can double click or click in there and then once I click on this month I can hold it down and you'll see that I get a list of months here or I get the next year or the year ahead two years ahead and a year back and another year back so there's some easy ways to look around in there this little um, arrow right in here will allow me to do that too or just clicking on that name and then this arrow will move it to that month this arrow will again go picking one month at a time but if I don't want to hurt my fingers or my mouse I can just choose this and start doing some rolling here and find the date a little bit easier and that's how I can find out um, what's happening in advance maybe next week a couple of weeks down the road or uh, towards the end of the year and there you have it